Is this the marketplace? It's a far cry from how I remember it. Huh. The stores have changed, and so have the vendors. Well, that's to be expected. <gasps> it's... the Shogun! What is the almighty Shogun doing here? Uh, isn't the Shogun sick? This is quite sudden. Uh, I appear to have frightened the people. Well, what did you expect? The almighty Shogun makes an impromptu appearance in town? People are gonna freak out a bit! Patrolling the streets is the Tenryo Commission's job. The Shogun has a lot of information to process and orders to give out. She doesn't have time to deal with it herself. Additionally, the Shogun has no need of recreation. There would be no need for her to come here just to pass the time or to relax. So, what do we do now? Should we go away for a while and make a more low-profile return later? Why? It's not like I'm here to cause trouble. Let's just relax. It was more the ordinary people that Paimon was worried about. Uh, never mind. This definitely seems like your style, eh? People still use Mora in commercial transactions, I assume. Yep, same as ever. Just as shiny and just as hypnotic. Wait a second. Hey! Are you saying you don't have any Mora either? Of course I don't. There is no need for commerce in the plane of Euthymia. If I ever need something, I can simply have one of the commissions bring it to me. Wait, what do you mean, either? Anyway, people seem to be behaving in a very orderly fashion. I don't see the liveliness you spoke of anywhere. Almighty Shogun. Hmm. What is this stall selling? I don't believe I've ever seen this before. Shogun, I, uh... <laughs> Excuse me. It's all right. Relax. I'm just here to look around. I'm having a change of pace today. Could you tell me about the items you're selling? Of course. I've got all kinds of snacks here. Takoyaki, dango, and uh, uh, milk, and so on. Huh? Milk? Sounds kind of like the odd one out. It might sound odd, but... It is, in fact, my specialty. You see, many of the stores in town are already very well established. I couldn't compete with them no matter what I sell. So my idea was to create some new combinations to give customers a novel experience. For example, my latest concoction is this dango milk. When the dango are worked into a viscous form, they mix very nicely with the milk. The focus is not just the taste, but also the unique texture. Oh, dango with milk. Hmm, I've never heard of it. What made you want to do this? Uh, I'm sorry, Shogun. I've got no bone to pick with eternity. I said relax. There's no need to go treading on eggshells. Do you really think the eternity I pursue is something that can be shaken by dongo and milk? Huh. Why do I feel like she's different than I expected? Actually, it came to me by chance. A friend was catering once and made too many dango, so they gave some to me. But there were more than I had used for. My milk wasn't selling well at that time either. And both dango and milk have a short shelf life. So I thought I'd try mixing the two as I had nothing to lose. To my surprise, in the right proportion, it tasted superb. A chance combination. Hmm, interesting. May I try this drink? The almighty Shogun wants to try? Well, well certainly. And you two should try it too. Hmm. Nice. It's sweet. <laughs> the sensation is not so different from eating a dessert. <laughs> a unique beverage, indeed. Yeah, it's definitely 
a drink, but it also feels like eating food. Hmm, it's a little bit like... Uh, porridge? Mm, but the resemblance is only superficial. Anyway, I like it. I'm very glad you approve. I imagine that an item as delicious as this Dongo milk must sell exceptionally well, no? <laughs> well, I won't lie to you. Sales are very average. Huh? So it's selling slowly? Why is that? Uh, because most people aren't willing to give it a try. They think it's an unusual combination. Even though everyone who's tried it before rates it highly. I'm not saying the Almighty Shogun has unusual tastes. Please, don't take it the wrong way. Ah, I see. Well, that can be fixed. I'll just have the Yashiro Commission order a few hundred cups and go door to door delivering them. No, 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 Almighty Shogun, that's too much. Is it? I just want them to try it. It would be a shame for them to miss out on Dongo milk. I. Uh. <laughs> of course. I've heard that most humans like desserts, so it's not unusual that I should enjoy them too. Miko agrees with me on this. Ah. <sighs> There's nothing like dessert for improving one's mood. Much more enjoyable than meditating alone all the time. By the way, Miko mentioned that she founded something called the Yai Publishing House to sell some sort of light novels. She's always bragging to me about it, but it's difficult for me to really imagine without seeing the place for myself. Can you take me there? Sure! Let's go and have a look! Shogun! O Almighty Shogun! What brings you to the Yai Publishing House? Do you have instructions for us? No, not at all. Don't be so nervous. I'm just here to look around. A apologies. I, I still don't quite understand. Are you here to look into the management? Or publishing regulations? Or fire safety measures? Uh, she just wants to browse your books. The Almighty Shogun wishes to... read light novels? Yes. Any recommendations? Um, the Yai Publishing House's novels are mostly targeted at the general public, and the content is all kinds of strange. I'm not sure we have anything quite to the almighty Shogun's taste. I'm just here to try something new. There's no fun in reading the same kind of thing over and over again. Relax. It's just words on a page, isn't it? What could I misunderstand, really? In principle, you're absolutely right. It's just... It'll be fine. If there's anything the Shogun doesn't understand, we'll explain it to her. Well... Okay, then. Uh, please proceed to the bookshelf over there. It has all the latest bestsellers. There are some winning entries from the This Novel is Amazing competition. Uh, I have just finished compiling them into a saleable form. Um... Don't take them too seriously. It's all just a bit of fun. Okay. Let's go then. Huh. How can this be? Did I underestimate the caliber of this material? I know every individual word in these books' titles. So why is it that they make no sense to me in these particular combinations. Take this one, for example. The good thing about being reincarnated as a hilly churl 
is that I only need to eat sunsetias to become stronger. It's so long! Is it true that hilly churls grow stronger from eating sunsetias? Well, surely it should be some sort of meat, at least. It's just a narrative device! Narrative device. So it's... made up? What's the point of that? Without being grounded in reality, how can the story be believable? Also, I'm fairly certain that Hilly Churls can't write stories. So, does this author claim to be documenting Hilly Churl life from an outside perspective, perhaps? Uh, Paimon's starting to understand Kuroda's reservations right about now. Uh, how about we choose for you? We can pick out some novels that are easier to understand and give you the scoop. Alright then. I believe myself to be relatively well-read, but with stories like these, I don't even know where to start. I have high hopes, though. This seems like Miko's style, so I'm sure the stories are very entertaining. Alright, leave it to us. We'll be back in a jiffy. This could be a pretty tough job. Let's see what we're up against. person. Why would someone want to be a novelist that badly? Someone like that could easily become the top martial arts pro in the world! You do have a point. And a character so determined to follow their ambition is likely to appeal to A, right? With a premise like this, it's no wonder Kuroda was nervous about letting A look around. Uh, Paimon thinks it might be best not to bring this one up with A. We might get the author in trouble. Well, if someone turned into Paimon and did a bunch of stuff this Paimon would never do, Paimon would feel really uncomfortable. That's all of them! Let's try to explain them to A. The looks on your faces tell me you found some good stories. Why are there seven people all striving to have a relationship with a single male protagonist? Is this some sort of narrative device too? Uh, not really. It's a pretty normal story. You know, where the guy can only 
choose one girl in the end. I see. Yes, this is an important relationship, so he must choose wisely. But the decision-making process is a source of agony and conflict. So... Could the author not simply add a narrative device, whereby the main character could accept the feelings of all seven admirers at once? Yes, that would solve it. That would be the most boring love story ever! Love. Hmm. Narrative devices are truly mysterious things. That's all of them! Let's try to explain them to A. The looks on your faces tell me you found some good stories. It's okay. I find it quite interesting. I didn't realize that this was how ordinary people viewed the Shogun. She would never use the Muso no Hitotachi as frivolously as she does in the pages of this book. Nor would she ever use it as a means of venting emotions. In reality, the reason for drawing her blade determines the martial form to use, and the degree of power with which to imbue it. Since there is such a great deal of difference between the story and the reality, I don't feel offended at all. On the contrary, I find the author's powers of imagination quite admirable. That said, I hear that Yai Publishing House's novels are all reviewed by Miko herself. Which means that the content of this book must have been approved by her. In fact, no. It may even have been her idea in the first place. So what do you think of Yai Publishing House's light novels, eh? Do you like the stories we picked? What I take from these stories is not so much the content itself, but what they represent in terms of the effects of time upon Inazuma. Back when I decided to isolate myself in the plain of Euthymia, there was no Yai publishing house, and certainly no stories of this kind. In accordance with my wishes, the Shogun did her best to create an eternal nation. A nation that, in theory, should remain entirely unchanged over time. But the fact is that both the food and the stories have changed with time. I disagree with your point of view. That's what I would say if we were still in the plane of Euthymia. But the truth is right here in front of my eyes, and I can't deny it. And that's exactly why we brought you out, to take a look around and get some fresh ideas. Sure, it's not the same as you remember, but one way or another, people are loving life in the present. That's gotta be a good thing, right? Yes, you're right. I'm wary of any and all change. But I do not wish for my pursuit of eternity to stop human lives from changing for the better. Thank you for inviting me out. This trip has been quite eye-opening for me. This may be an everyday occurrence for you, but for me, this trip has been quite an occasion. I've seen a lot, and it's made me think a lot. I really can't praise it highly enough. I hope I will remember it for a long time to come. Ooh, great idea! Ace had a wonderful time, and a photo is the best way to remember it! Take a photo? <sighs> Once again, I'm faced with a combination of words that makes absolutely no sense to me. It's okay. Come with us. We'll find a scenic spot and show you what we mean. <laughs> 